Uh, hi guys, uh, this video is about restoration of my old MTB bicycle. It is very old, almost 17 years old. I used this bicycle when I was in school and uh, now I would like to restore this completely and uh, get it back on the track. So I would like to use most of these old parts. I don't want to you know get new parts. Instead I would like to restore all the parts as well. So the first thing here is the frame of the bicycle. I have cleaned all the paint with with this knife and uh, the sandpaper so I have done half of this and remaining part is this much so I have cleaned the complete handle so coming to the rims you can see that it is completely rusty so let me show you something else if you can see here a small part of the rim is very clear and clean from the rest because I have done electrolysis process for only this part and you can see this part is clear compared to this part so I could not do the complete electrolysis for this rim because I do not have a bigger tub where I can dip it and use the electrolysis process so I got an idea like I'm going to use this rubber sheet to make a container where I can dip that rim and use the electrolysis process you know to clean this complete rim okay my temporary water container is ready uh, this is how I made it let me show you underneath this rubber sheet I have put these bricks and uh, made a round shape and then I placed this rubber sheet so that uh, it acts like a container now I can place the rim inside this container and do the electrolysis to remove the rest so my connections are ready and I'm going to use this old plier wrench and a small piece of rod to connect it to the positive of the adapter let me show you what I'm using as power source for this electrolysis process so here is my adapter its output is 7 volts 3.43 amps it is basically EDC machines adapter you can see access bank is written here that swiping card machine adapter but I am using it as a power for my electrolysis um, I have seen in other videos where people are using 12 volt 
charger battery charger for uh, for this process but uh, uh, i don't want to spend some money on that so i am trying to use what i already have i have already tested it and it works fine i even used a mobile phone charger which which is, which output is 4.7 volts 1 ampere output even that does the work so hopefully this thing also works fine here is my washing soda i'm going to use some water and mix it well once it completely dissolves in this water i'm going to add this water into that container where the electrolysis process has to take place this is the condition of this rim right now it is completely rusty from inside and its edges are also rusty so right now i'm going to clean this a little so that the loose dust comes out once i clean the loose dust and loose particles that are there i will put it inside the this container and do the electrolysis okay here is the setup i have added the washing soda into this water and uh, as you can see the rim is entirely dipping inside the water i have already made the connections negative to the object to be cleaned and positive to the three iron pieces once the process starts you can see that small bubbles are popping from the rim that means the process has already started it has been over 15 hours now and uh, you can see the water has completely turned into dark brown and completely dirty so let me take out the connections looks like uh, clean but further we need to you know clean it with a wire brush or a metal brush so let me show you these things okay the cleaning is over and uh, i'm sorry i could not take the cleaning video because i do not have a tripod so the first stream was something like this after this electrolysis process and cleaning the rim has become like this 
you can see it is clean and free from rust so electrolysis does most of the part but after that you have to manually clean it so I used the scrubber and uh, wire brush it doesn't look like brand new but but it's good pretty good good to go uh, you can use it on your bicycle so from this to this so I'm quite happy with the results so the rest what I need to do is I am going to use zinc oxide and will paint inside this rim so that it doesn't rust further so it's good and uh, tomorrow I will use the same process to clean this rim as well 